Agola is a church that is uh, really seriously uh, committed to transforming the world for Christ one soul at a time. Uh, we believe in love and fellowship, meeting people where they are and helping them to grow in grace and knowledge so they can in turn uh, impact the world. And, and uh, that's, that's what we're about here. So when people come through our doors, we want them to feel love. We want them to feel like this is a place where people care about, cares, people care about them. We also want them to feel a place where they are comfortable to allow God to use them in their own particular gifts. And, and during our worship service, a place where they feel like they can worship God in their own, in their own uniqueness, how God made them. We have uh, uh, multi-faceted uh, events in terms of evangelism, reaching out to the community. We also have uh, things that internally to help our disciples grow. And we're adding to those daily. Uh, of course, our worship services, our Bible studies, noonday and uh, seven o'clock. We have worship services every third, every third Wednesday that give our associate ministers opportunity to, um, to preach. Uh, we have various ministries going on with children and youth and young adults and adults and they're expanding uh, constantly and just doing things to help people to come together and, and, and love one another and fellowship and then grow to be disciples of Christ. The children's, the children's ministry at Goler has always been strong. We're in the process of making it stronger. If we don't help our children to become disciples at their age, we have to be very intentional about how we're doing it. We have a systematic curriculum on how we want our kids to learn. We have a, a good marriage ministry here. Our marriage ministry is, again, is, is growing. Our last retreat, we had, uh, I think, over 20 couples here. and. Uh, just, help, just having some fun with uh, married couples. But also, there's going to be times where we're going to have opportunities for teaching. Now, learn what it takes to be married, and then learn what it takes to have a Christian marriage and why God brings two Christians together in holy matrimony. Family is the basic building block of any great society. The morals, the values were taught in the household, the family unit. And if we can strengthen family, then our churches will flourish. And in today's culture and the world we live in, families are constituted in, in a variety of ways. And we certainly don't want to discriminate, discriminate against anyone by saying that a family has to be a unit where you have a mother, father, and children. Oftentimes, you have single mothers, single fathers. Oftentimes, you have grandparents raising children. Well, however that model comes to us, however those family comes to us, however it's constituted, we're gonna do all we can to strengthen each uh, person in the family and strengthen the family unit so that God's glory may shine through them and they may be a light, helping them through the various and the things we go through. Uh, the visitors feel, uh, of, of course I go back to love because love is the most important thing we have. They're gonna feel a warm, embracing a congregation it really reaches out. I felt that when I got here. I think they feel uh, compassion. I think they feel a, a sense of uh, energy, um, a, a sense of inspiration. I've heard that from people, that they feel inspired when they come here and when they leave these doors, and that's how they, we want them to feel.